This is RadioOnFire.com. Your truly Don McKay in here. Thank you for joining me broadcasting from the Radio on Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, today's broadcast brought to you in part by the 2017 Baltimore Music Awards uh, nominations now being accepted for this seventh annual red carpet event. All Baltimore DJs, rappers, artists, uh, recording artists, radio shows, radio stations are eligible. Visit BaltimoreMusicAwards.com and uh, enter your choices before October the 9th. Uh, the finalists will be announced October the 11th. So the three nominees uh, receiving the most nominations in every category become the finalists. Uh, so let your voice be heard, as I said, before October the 9th. So you can, um, you know, I mean, have your picks and all that good stuff. So uh, here in Baltimore, I think that the government has made several attempts to uh, uh, try the red light uh, speed camera thing. And uh, it seems like every administration tries this thing out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm really, I always, I've always been conflicted with red light camera things and uh, uh, speed cameras because it's like they say that they do it to make people safer and, and uh, safety, right? But they take a lot of money from people, yet they always claim they don't have any money. So how effective is it? It doesn't, does it really stop people from speeding? Does it really stop people from running red lights? I don't know. Uh, I do know that the last time they tried this, there were a whole lot of people getting tickets that, uh, speeding tickets, but their cars weren't moving. And so they had to uh, suspend that whole thing. And now here it is back again. Uh, motorists can expect red light cameras to go online today. In fact, they're online right now. Uh, the city's speed cameras, which have been issuing warnings for the last month. A lot of these speed cameras have been up since June 26th. And uh, so they've just been sending you warnings in the mail. This is a warning. However, now it's in effect. $40 tickets if you're speeding. $40. Now, at a news conference last week, the city transportation director told reporters at City Hall that these cameras are not about making money for the city. Yeah, yeah, she said it. Uh, it it's all about safety. That's what she said. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm going to go with that. Now, so what do you do with the money? Like, what does the city do with the money that they get? What do they do with this $40 a pop that they get or the $75 that they get for the red lights? Uh, we don't know. I, her mic got cut off on that part. Uh, but she said, we want this to be a safe place. We want uh, <laughs> complete streets for everyone, pedestrians, bicyclists, motorists. Uh, and here's another part of the program. This is what she said. These red lights are supposed to make it safe for everybody. Now, you definitely don't want people running red lights. I, I get that. Uh, she said that Baltimore experiences 20,000 crashes Per year, and that's that's a serious thing. I actually had a crash last year, uh, first one I had in a long time. wasn't my fault. Uh, but anyway, uh, there are eight red light cameras around the city. These are the new ones that are going to be issuing warnings for violators for thirty days uh, before they begin issuing the tickets, and uh, we're past that stage. Now the cameras will operate twenty four hours a day, so it includes weekends. Includes holidays, uh, $75, as I said, for the red light camera, uh, you know, running the red light. Speed cameras, $40. So, um, I don't know. They said that uh, over 1,000 warnings per day were issued in July. 1,000 speed warnings per day. Now, um if you are caught on camera going 12 miles or more above the speed limit between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m., Monday through Friday, you will get $40 fine right now. Uh, now, as I said, 2013, the city abandoned that program. 
that was not working out well. Now, officials say radar and laser technology will be used to ensure accuracy with these cameras, and the camera operator will not receive a portion of the fine from every ticket issued. Oh, but you know they're going to get paid, though. I'm just saying. Where's that money coming from? All right, so let's talk about some of these new uh, speed camera locations. I'm not going to name them all, uh, but uh, you can go to RadioOnFire.com. We have them posted there. Frederick Douglass High School. This is right near uh, Mondawmin Mall, that back area on Gwens Falls Parkway. They have a speed camera going up, or correction, already up there. Uh, I'm just going to name places that I go through. Uh, so Edmondson Westside High School area, Edmondson Avenue, you can see that camera is there. Um, okay, we said Gwens Falls Elementary School, and that Gwens Falls Parkway area. Gilmore School, Northern Parkway. Hamilton Elementary Middle, Harford Road. Now, Baltimore City College High School, that area on 33rd Street, speed camera is going to be right there. Frederick Elementary School, Frederick Avenue, speed camera right there. Baltimore IT Academy on Woodbourne, speed camera right there. And uh, Vanguard Middle School, Moravia Road, speed camera right there. There, uh, there are a few others. Uh, Poly Western, right at West Cold Spring, speed camera right there. Um, now, the ones that really, the well, ones that really are going to ding you, are these red light cameras. Rice's Town Road, Patterson Avenue, southbound red light camera right there. East North Avenue at North Howard Street. Okay, so. Pass that all the time. Westbound, red light camera there. Also, South Monroe Street, northbound at Washington Boulevard, red light camera there. Now, opposite side of the street, South Monroe, southbound, red light camera there. Uh, a lot of people frequent in that area. Bel Air Road at Urban Avenue. They will ding you for $75 if you run that red light. Uh, Erdman Avenue at Bel Air Road, Pulaski Highway at North Point Road, and uh, Bel Air Road at Erdman uh, Avenue southbound. Now, here's one. Here's something I pass every day. Not in the car, though. North Calvert and East Baltimore Street. So that I, I saw them putting this up, and it just seemed like it went up overnight. Uh, but I saw them putting this up last week. It is fully functional now. Uh, and that's right downtown Baltimore. Uh, so um, you definitely want to be be on notice for this. Now, if they're giving you tickets and you clearly did not do anything, definitely report that. And I want to know about it as well. DJ Diamond K at Gmail dot com because if these cameras are not working right, then we gotta you know I mean we gotta kick up some dust. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire.